Welcome to the Owlstone Medical Breath Biopsy Training video on how to take a breath sample using our mouthpiece. Thank you for choosing Owlstone Medical to partner with on your clinical trial. Open up the receiver black carry case and remove the receiver breath sampler. Unwind one of the receiver USB cables and attach one end to the receiver and the other to the laptop. This powers the receiver and should be disconnected at the end of every use to reset the receiver system. Connect the air supply tubing to the casper and remove the bung. Then connect the tubing to the receiver, ensuring it is fully inserted. Your study team will have supplied you with a six-digit PIN to enter as requested by BitLocker. This PIN keeps your laptop data secure and should be kept safe. When prompted, select your site-specific username and enter the password provided to you. Ensure when you're logged in that you're connected to the local Wi-Fi before starting sampling. Once this is all done, the laptop is ready for use. The software you will use to collect samples is on the desktop and labelled Breath Biopsy Collect. Click to launch this and let's get started. Select the New Subject button and then enter the subject ID and details to create the subject profile in the system. The home screen of the software will be shown. Select New Sample and proceed to enter the data required. Once completed, click Next and follow the prompts. Ensure you and the subject are wearing a new pair of gloves. Insert one of the yellow non-return valves into the rear of the receiver. A new non-return valve should be used for every subject. Remove the cartridge and mouthpiece from the packaging and inspect for damage. Cut the cable tie and pull the end caps off the cartridge and place on a clean surface with the holes facing up to avoid any contamination. Do not leave the cartridge uncapped for more than two minutes prior to or after the breath collection. Insert the top of the cartridge into the mouthpiece with the barcode facing out towards you and upright. Then insert the bottom of the cartridge into the receiver, push the mouthpiece back into the housing and push down the cartridge as far as possible to ensure it's fully seated. Once the mouthpiece and the cartridges have been fitted, switch on the airflow from the Casper. Check that the non-return valve is working correctly and the plastic film is on the outside and moving when the Casper system is on and air is flowing through receiver. Once assembled, check all the boxes on the checklist and then click Start Sampling. Please note, if the weather has been cold, let the Casper air flow through receiver for a few minutes to warm up the sensors and reduce any breath condensation. The software will then display that the receiver is connected and ready to pass to the subject for sampling. Allow the subject to take a few moments to get used to the receiver and ensure the nose clip is secured. The subject should hold the receiver on the sides and not from the bottom to avoid blocking exhaust ports. Advise the subject that they should breathe normally during sampling to provide the best quality sample. Also, advise the subject to keep their chin tilted up throughout sampling to avoid buildup of saliva in the mouthpiece. Once the subject is comfortable, the sample collection can be started by clicking the Start button. The software will then learn the subject's breathing pattern before starting the breath collection. On completion of the learning section, the breath sample collection will begin. 
The subject should be monitored at all times for comfort and safety. If the subject wishes to stop the procedure, the sample should be aborted immediately. If they are willing to provide a replacement sample, a new breath biopsy kit should be used. During the breath collection, the software displays the collection time elapsed and the percentage of the breath volume collected. Collection time may vary and is dependent on your study settings and the rate of the subject's breathing. When the sample collection is complete, a pop-up message will display to tell you sampling has ended. The subject should remove the nose clip and mouthpiece and only then should you turn off the Casper air supply. Remove the cartridge and mouthpiece from the receiver and visually inspect the ends of the cartridge to see if there's evidence of saliva in the tubes. If there is any evidence of saliva, please contact your Alstone representative. Replace the end caps onto the cartridge and check they are secured using the supplied jig. Dispose of the mouthpiece, nose clip and non-return valve as clinical waste. Follow the instructions on the laptop screen and complete the data entry for the end of sampling. Two labels will be automatically printed. Attach the first label to the sample manifest and complete the information required on the manifest. Fit the cable tie provided around the cartridge, pull and tighten the cable tie to secure the end caps and to avoid the end caps being removed by accident or during transportation. Place the cartridge in the bubble wrap bag provided. Roll up the bag with the sample, remove the adhesive strip and secure. Attach the other sample label to the bubble wrap bag and place into the Ziploc bag provided. If the sample is not being returned to Alstone on the same day, it should be stored on site as directed by your study team. To upload data, ensure the laptop is connected to the internet and click the Cloud Upload button on the landing page. If the upload is successful, a pop-up message will appear. Return the breath samples and sample manifest to Alstone via the agreed courier. The equipment should be cleaned according to the information set out in the low-level disinfection protocol.